Hi, I am Marco, author of the cookbook, The Overland Cook, Food on the Trail with Overland X. This morning, I'm going to show you how to make chilaquiles at camp. Chilaquiles Rojos, probably one of the most iconic Mexican comfort foods. Chilaquiles vary in style by region or family. Its main ingredients, corn tortilla and salsa, make chilaquiles a popular recipe to use leftover salsas and tortillas. After weeks of staying home because of COVID, we decided to do a quick overnight trip to the mountains. One night only up in Big Bear, was an effective re-energizer. And now, let's cook those chilaquiles. The secret in every Mexican dish is the salsa. And for this chilaquiles, we are going to be making the salsa from scratch. These are the ingredients for the salsa. Now I will proceed to clean and remove the pit from the chiles to reduce their heat. I will also remove the seeds to prevent bitterness on the salsa. This will also apply to the chile de arbol and the jalapeños. After cutting off the stem, I will open the chile in half to start the cleaning process. With a knife, just open the chile and remove the seeds and the pit. I like to cook my salsa ingredients just because the flavor intensifies. Frying the tomatoes, the garlic, the chiles, and the onions will bring a rich flavor to the salsa. In a pan, pour a little bit of oil and fry the ingredients. Make sure not to burn the dry chiles as this will turn them bitter. can make your uh, chilaquiles salsa like this. You just go the easy way and use this, but this is much, much better. Now, bring the cooked ingredients to the blender. Using my Jackery Power Station and my portable blender, I will mix all the ingredients in the blender. Using a little water to help with the blending process, pour salt to taste and a pinch of cumin. Blend all ingredients until they are all incorporated and have the consistency of a salsa. And that's the salsa for the chilaquiles. With the salsa finished and settling in the fridge, now let's get the corn tortilla chips ready. Start by cutting the tortillas in triangles, just like chips. Pour cooking oil in a pot and set stove to medium heat. Bring oil to a simmer. You can use olive oil, canola, or any cooking oil of your preference. I am using avocado oil. I like it because it has an extremely high smoke point and it won't burn as quickly as other oils. Once the oil is hot enough, start putting the tortilla triangles in the oil. Do not overcrowd the pot. Let them crisp up, turn them over, and remove the first batch. Put them on a plate over a napkin and repeat until you fry all your chips. You know that for chilaquiles you, could, you can buy a, a bag of chips, but what's better than uh, cutting your own tortillas and making your own chips? So on today's uh, breakfast, chilaquiles, I'm gonna be using white chicken. You can have chilaquiles with cheese, with chicken, whatever you want, really. Um, the original chilaquiles is just, it's just the chips and the salsa, but I'm gonna add some chicken. It'll add flavor to it. In the same pot where I fry the tortillas, I will cook the chicken. Those burnt tortilla crumbs give an awesome flavor to the chicken. 
Put the chicken in the hot oil, add salt to taste, and a pinch of cumin. You can add black pepper too if you wish. Cook chicken until golden brown, remove from heat, and set aside for later use. Now it's time to get the pre-made salsa from the fridge. Remember that uh, salsa that I prepared yesterday with the uh, New Mexico chiles, the chile de arbol, jalapeños, the garlic, the onion, the tomato? I'm gonna cook it today and that's gonna be our chilaquiles salsa. Because I don't want a thick salsa for my chilaquiles, I will use a strainer. So what I'm doing right now is cooking the salsa. Let's cook it for a little bit. This was prepared yesterday, as you know. And uh, I'm just cooking it, running through the strainer. We want a good consistency of the salsa for the chilaquiles. With all the ingredients ready, oil the scuttle and bring it to a low heat. Place the tortilla chip in the disc, pour the salsa over the chips and mix well. Be careful not to break the chips. Once all the chips are well covered with the salsa, pour the chicken on top. This can be beans, beef or just plain chilaquiles. Cover the chicken with chips so the chicken is sandwiched between two layers of tortilla chips. Then put cheese on top I'm using asadero cheese, which melts really good and it's got awesome flavor. Then pour sour cream on top and wait for the cheese to melt. In the meantime, fry a couple of eggs and place it on top of the chilaquiles and serve. Camp oh. breakfast has been set at a new standard. Can we expect this every time? <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. And this is how you make chilaquiles at camp. If you like this recipe, go ahead and check my other videos. Thank you for watching.